I'm so upset I have to make this video. Okay. <laughs> time since I did a video uh what's up guys oh so I got my kimchi y'all know like I'm addicted to kimchi now so there have been some questions only two about my GoFundMe um so if you haven't um heard or seen I got into a really bad car wreck on Wednesday, June 8th. Sorry, hold on. Somebody just screaming. But sorry, my phone over there. But yeah, June 8th. And um, my car is totaled. Um, I have fractured ribs. And y'all. My chest is so bruised, like, I want to show y'all, but I'm just so scared. Like, it, y'all, it's so ugly. It's so ugly. I'll show you a peek. Don't judge me. But see, I can see, like, my chest is, like, bruised. Like, literally, all over me, down to my stomach. Um, you know, I think that's from the airbag. I'm busting up my chest, so pause but yeah so my sister um believes that my boobs actually saved my life <laughs> but i had a really bad wreck um i'll kind of give you some details um i was on the way well i was lost in for my parents and i was about to go home a friend of mine needed a ride to the grocery store so i told him i would take him um I was waiting for my parents to get off work, obviously. Like, my parents treat our family dog like a child, so I had to go babysit our dog sit. Um, I'm actually still in workers' comp because of my ankle that was fractured in January. So, I just go over there if they need, you know, the dog to be babysit. But, um, yeah, so it was storming really bad. And when I left, um... It, like I guess the roads were slippery so where I live well where my parents live there's like when you like merging onto the highway there is this really sharp cur like curve and like to get on the highway so I was like making a curve or whatever or turning the curve and my car literally just lost control and um I tried to correct it but I'm assuming that like I overcorrected it so um what happened was I hit the, like, the wall. So when I hit the wall, I'll best, I, I bounce. This is what the sheriff is telling me, like, because I ended up getting knocked unconscious. Um, and I really don't remember much. I just remember, like, waking up trying to talk. But um, I bounced off the wall. And then when I bounced off to the wall, I, like, went into incoming traffic. So, um, when I went to incoming traffic, I had got hit by a truck and then, which I feel horrible about. And then um, I got hit by another truck and then that's when I got slammed into the wall again. So that's when my car is placed against that wall. And then when I woke up, like, I just remember seeing like this white lady come in to like run to me and was like trying to make sure I was okay because like how I was leaning, I just remember like waking up and how I was leaning like I was leaning like you know where like your gear shift is I was leaning like that in my like my like my whole my whole I can't really move like that because of my ribs but like my whole body was like leaning to the side like to like the passenger like floor or whatever so she came and I remember me like trying to wake up and I was trying to talk and I couldn't talk but then she ended up coming and um she was asking me if i was okay um and like yeah thankfully i ended up like waking up 
And like, I just remember like waking up and like seeing like my uh, windshield was like crazy cracked. And I was just like, what the fuck? So the first thing I said was just like, call my dad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm such a dad's girl. So um, thankfully my dad, like I said, he was on the way home because for me, baby, well, dogs or whatever. So he was really close and my mom was actually close as well. So, um, boom. I ended up mm, just cut all that out. Ended up going to like the hospital, and then that's when I found out that um, I had two fractured ribs, uh, my whole chest like contusions everywhere, and I like hit. Oh fuck, that hurt. I'm sorry. And I hit my head um, right here, so like it's like my head is like really big right there, and it's kind of like filled with like this, you know, like not liquid, but I don't know how to explain it. Fluid, but um, I had like a mal con um, concussion. And the first two days were fucking insane. So, um, but I'm so thankful. Like, I have really good parents. Like, they really was just taking care of me like crazy. Um, so, I don't have a car and anymore. My car is completely total. Um... So, two people asked me yesterday if I had insurance. Yes, I have insurance. I mean, yeah. So, um, I think there was, like, questioning on why I had to go funding. I had to go funding because, well, I had to go funding because... I don't know if like people know how it works obviously like the two other guys don't know how it works because like they question me but I have insurance I'm making payments on my car so I don't get a check from insurance like I don't know why y'all are assuming I get a check from insurance no I'm making payments on my car so what's gonna happen is they're going to like my insurance is gonna pay whatever my car is worth to the dealership that I'm like, or whoever I'm like paying my car, my paying my car to, and like, and if I have anything left over, I would have to pay that back. But thankfully, I do have gap insurance with the dealership, so my insurance is going to cut a check to my dealership, whatever my car is worth, and whatever is left over, the dealership will, I guess, the insurance will have to pay for it because I do have gap insurance as well. Um, that's something that I thought people knew. I guess not because your girl is getting questioned but um you know what like sucks though about me getting questioned it's literally people that do go fund me like to go on fucking trips I literally have to start all the way to fuck over you know what I'm saying like I'm actually in the process of moving like so this came at a, long, a wrong time. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I have to find me a car. Um, I have to, like, start over. I have to, like, find me a car. I have to get the down deposit, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just making a GoFundMe just for the fuck of it. If I got a check from insurance, and trust and believe, I would not be asking, you know, for help. And mind you, I never asked anybody to help me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. that's just if, if y'all want to help, cool. If not, that's cool, too. Like, and I understand... YouTube is not my only platform. I got Facebook as well. Um, TikTok, not so much. Um, and Instagram is so-so. But, like, I also have a following on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I made one. And I was just like, okay, well, I'll put it on my YouTube as well. But you know what gets me, though? The same people that's, like, questioning me. There was no questions when I did that giveaway. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't fucking like ask, like what, you know, what you plan on doing with the money. And mind you, don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna do another giveaway. But I'm just gonna remember the people that question me, like when I do that giveaway, because it's just like, bro, like I'm human too. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not fucking rich at all. Like. So, and I don't mean to get like an attitude or nothing like that. 
it's just irritating that people would question me like I don't like ask you specifically like oh can you give me some money no that's not what I'm doing because at the end of the day oh your girl gonna get a car I'm gonna get another car regardless but if people want to help cool like but I do want to give a shout out to the people that has been like texting me messaging me checking on me period you know what I'm saying um I do like I have like met really cool people through YouTube or whatever and so like when they seen that I had got like my record whatever immediately called me like those those are like the supporters I really love and I'm so thankful for y'all but I'm and I'm thankful that like I still have people here watching me but and I'm also thankful that I don't have people questioning me <laughs> like um but yeah so that's really why I'm kind of like just making this video like I'm not telling nobody that they have to like give me anything I'm just asking if you want to help cool if not that's cool too like I'm not I'm gonna be mad at you but don't question me but my intentions are good <laughs> like so just like a little rant video just seeing that really just irritated me um I really is I really thought that people knew how insurance worked. Especially if making payments on your car. Somebody at my door. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. So um somebody had came to see me to make sure I was okay. Like two of my homeboys. But um, like I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying before I left out. But guys, I'm human. I just yeah, like, I need help. Like, everybody else need help. Like, I'm not, like, out here trying to, like, finesse or anything like that. And like I said, if you don't want to help me, you don't have to. I promise you don't have to. I am not here to make you help me to say, you got to help me. No, that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. Only if you want to. And I do want to shout out to the people that do be looking out for me, you know, checking up on the kid i don't you know but like i said i do plan on doing another giveaway i'm sorry if i'm cutting this short i can't remember what i was talking about before my homeboys messed up my whole little thing but i i am gonna do a whole nother um giveaway and everything when i get a certain amount of subscribers and a trust and believe i won't be asking any questions Definitely won't ask if you have insurance. <laughs> but, yeah. I love you guys. And thanks for um, sending to me. I try to post more often. But I just want to get that rent out the way. On that note. Bye.